हेलो टेक्कीज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग द वीडियोस सो आई अपलोड आईटी रिलेटेड एंड टेक्निकल रिलेटेड वीडियोस एवरी सैटरडे एट 9 पीएम सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल टू गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट व्हाट इज ईटेल टेस्टिंग व्हाट इज डेटा वेयर हाउस टेस्टिंग वॉट इज बी टेस्टिंग एंड वॉट ऑल हैपन्स एंड हाउ ऑल दिस हैपन्स एंड हाउ अ टेस्ट इंजीनियर वर्कस on this role so let's get started okay so what is etl etl is extract transform and load and what is dwh dwh is data warehouse so basically etl uh, is extract transform and load i will explain uh, what is extract what is transform and load so basically extract is basically there uh, suppose if you see a system so there is a system there is a front end and there is a back end so what is happening so there is a front end and there is a back end so when uh, any data that is passed from the front end goes to the back end and sits in the database so that is called as a back end that is called a database so when those data it can be structured data or semi structured data it can be a excel file also it can be a csv file also or even you can store data in a text file also so all these data when these data are transformed to the required format so basically uh, this etl or data warehousing is created for the business people so basically suppose you are running a business you have a very big business suppose and you want to take a better decisions to expand your business so obviously those decision should be uh, you know backed by data so the analysis of data so if that data is telling you yes this is how your business is growing and if you take action according to that your business will become better so improve your business what you have to do you have to take decisions backed by data and the analyzed data so obviously the data that is there in data warehouse is not uh, in the required format so obviously that needs that data needs to be transformed into the required format so that it is very useful for you to take a better decisions in your business so i will uh, explain this with an example uh, taking say for example a dmat company uh, so everybody must have note the retail company uh, the dmat dmart where you go and purchase and you get a lot of discounts <laughs> so uh, i will explain with that example and how a business uh, can take better decisions so basically mm, if you understand that data is the next gold so basically uh, whatever all the apps that they are using uh, if you are using instagram facebook twitter or whatever uh, linkedin or any social media or even youtube so what are what is happening you are consuming data so all this data is analyzed to give you the best fit so if you if you are watching uh, certain uh, kind of videos so you get the recommendation of those kind of videos so that's how uh, the data is analyzed what is your preference so all this uh, data that is analyzed how they are analyzed so uh, this is where we will understand how uh, the data can be analyzed and you know uh, taken for the betterment of the company so these these data uh, is used by uh, the business people the management people the higher uh, management so basically ceo cto so i will let's go to the screen and understand how the data flows so if you see Uh, the data is coming from multiple sources so there can be marketing data there can be erp data crm data so obviously i will not explain about what is erp what is crm i, I will recommend you to uh, google it and uh, find out the details and please uh, comment on what you understand by crp and erp at least the full form so that uh, i understand that you are watching the video carefully okay so the data can be from multiple sources say for example this is s1 to so s2 s3 so all this data is getting loaded into the data warehouse so this is the data warehouse so getting loaded but how does it load through the etl process extract extracted from these sources transformed and then loaded okay so extract from so obviously so when i say extract from load so obviously if the data is loaded into the data, data warehouse obviously uh, these uh, you know management people the business people they are not going to write queries and find out the data what the data is speaking okay so what they do is they go to this bi layer so bi layer bi bi stands for business intelligence so basically bi layers so they don't want to see the data in the structured format or in the table format so what do they do they 
make it in pie chart bar graph line charts so this data is now helpful so obviously when you see when you see pictorial representation of the data that is much more helpful and much more convincing so that way they take better decisions so here it can be uh, there can be multiple uh, not tools so if you see etl tool if you see here informatica ibm data stage you no know, uh, ssis there are multiple tools you can search on the google but mostly used in informatica and uh, now since cloud is coming so there are multiple other tools so and for the data warehouse it is normal database any database it can be oracle ms sql you no know, uh, snowflake azure aws if it is in cloud so all these are data warehouse and for the bi it can be mostly tableau and power bi are most used and there can be other tools also so you can google that and please comment uh, so let's see uh, who is commenting the highest number of uh, uh, tools that we are using okay so this is a basic representation of how the data is flowing and if you see uh, if you see the users these users so basically the management people they are viewing this reports to take better decisions so i will explain on how they are actually viewing the report and how these reports are created and what is so different that they take they, that they can take better decisions i will explain you with an example as i said earlier uh, with the example of demand so if say for example i am taking an example of demand okay demand so there can be multiple so say for example i mean since i am in bangalore so i'll take demand uh, so so demand one demand one is in marathalli demand two is in btm layout demand three is in uh, say for bellendur or uh, vijayanagar or any place you take so there are multiple demands so say for example demand in bellendur demand in marathalli demand in btm layout so what i am doing is suppose this demand has what kinle water bottle and also has bisleri water bottle okay so i'm going into more specific so uh, or we can take uh, so i'll go come back to this example so say for example dmart 4 so dmart 4 has uh, you know fashion has slippers you know fashion slippers you know and can be groceries okay uh, and uh, liquid items or anything so what they can do is uh, so they suppose uh, this d4 is in uh, vijayanagar so what they are seeing that uh, in vijayanagar the fashion has not mo- much sold so so we are taking making a revenue of 1 crore fashions in monthly but sleepers we are seeing that the sales are increasing we actually exhaust all our inventory and when goes to groceries groceries also we exhaust our inventory uh, as groceries are coming so we do a uh, 5 crore of business in egg uh, groceries so these all calculation since the data is stored in the billing counter the data is stored when the data transformed and then loaded into the data warehouse from there if in the bi report we can see that grocery is doing the highest business so similarly it can be in d3 in marathalli so they can again fashion slippers and groceries they can again do the calculations which demart is doing better in which module what are the best sales or you know in which field say so for fish fashion or slippers or groceries or uh, you know food items or uh, it can be liquid items or which item they are selling more so and uh, so i'll just go back uh, explain on the kindly and basically what so say for example one demart is there so they are selling kindly and they are selling bisleri okay so say for example kindly i have 100 bottles and here i have 100 bottles say for example in the month of january i got 100 bottles of kindly 100 bottles of bisleri of uh, 500 uh, ml so what i see that kindly water bottle is sold out whereas bisleri water i have only sold uh, say for example 50 so 50 is left out so what do i do so here i take a better decisions from the business standpoint saying that since in this demart i am able to sell kindly more so what do i will do the next coming month i will get more of kindly water bottle so it can go into more details saying that you get to 250 ml of uh, bottle 500 ml 1 liter and which is sold the highest so similarly you take better decisions with regards to the coming month so it can save you money you know instead of getting more bisleri bottle and keep it in inventory it is occupying inventory space so all that calculations you now for us it means okay it is a very little space no 
for them it is very high it is cost effective so each space in the inventory each space in dmart is very crucial for them so to take these small small steps to grow their business is where they uh, play a cutting edge where they take better decisions using etl and data warehouse so i hope uh, you have understood uh, the etl concepts <coughs> now uh, i will explain one more slide on uh, how uh, the etl works so if you see here so if you see here data is coming from uh, crm erp so this is a structured data now if you see it is database here if you see it is a database if you see here flat files flat file is kind of text file csv file or any kind of file that is considered a flash file and this unstructured data like videos audios these are unstructured data so these are coming so uh, what is ods what is stage what is data warehouse huh? so data warehouse have anyway i have explained so what is ods what is staging so what is data dmarts data mart you know what are dashboards and user and user are the management people who are taking the decision viewing the dashboard and then taking decisions so they are end users so Uh, here if if you can see from the source to the data warehouse is the etl part and from the data warehouse to the user becomes the bi part so this is where when the data flows from the source to the data warehouse we do etl testing and then from the data warehouse to bi we do the bbi testing so this is where what you understand by etl testing and data warehouse testing and bi testing so i will explain all these in detail if there is, if you have any questions please comment and i will try to answer all your comments and if i'm not able to answer it in the comment sections i will try to make a video uh, for that particular question and answer it i know uh, you will have a lot of doubts and please also comment uh, what all do you want which all topics you want me to cover uh, in the coming upcoming videos so and uh, thank you for watching if you have stayed till now thank you for watching i upload videos every saturday at 9 pm so make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you like the video if if this video added any value to your knowledge then please like it and subscribe and please share it with your friends those who are willing to learn about these concepts so krishna signing off bye bye see you again